So this one is from Vishnu Warrior, right next uh, next next year, but coming out. This one is actually from my grandfather Tao. Shout out to my grandfather Tao one time. Bruh. Yes. So this is um the today's title is Lost Queen, right? Talking about Lost Queen. Somebody lost a queen, put out the little flyer, right? You know, Lost Queen. Okay, here we go. So um Tao playing Mr. Walther here. And E4 happens, C5. And we lie. Knight of three, D6. You may have a knight or something like it. D4, snap those. He snapped right back. Knight of six, knight C3. This is the usual stuff you see in this type of Sicilian. Knight C6, more of the classical, almost richster, rawser, almost, right? Richster, rawser variation, especially if they go bishop G5, which is still popular today and happens a lot. All right. And, and a lot of times he was trying to go dragon, like, you know, Tao played a lot of Sicilians, but he, he did play a lot of dragon here, too. Um, so no dragon in e6. e6, queen d2, bishop e7. So uh, the reason why we're flying through moves here, or, or two things. Number one is that you just develop pieces. Literally just get them off the back rank. And the second thing is that these uh, games, like we don't want to be going 40 minutes here. So we're trying to give you like 15, 20 minutes for you, for you guys. So we can get to the best part, which is usually actually in this game at the end. So bishop e7, castles, queen side, get out the way. We castle as well and f4, right? Plans are very simple. When you castle on opposite sides of the board, whoever gets to the king first is going to win the game 100%. So it's good to understand that, right? So they castle on opposite sides. Plans are simple. I'm about to mate you. White light, hold on. Let me flip one time. I'm about to do the same to you, big fella. Whoever get there first wins the game. All right, F4. Black plays D5. Tries to get spicy already. Open the bishop line up. Maybe we'll use it for later. B5, A5, everything 5. Bishop b4 is also there as well. Pretty scary. So white plays e5, reading the, the defense, reading everything that the black is doing. So after e5 is played on the knight, Tau, grandfather Tau, brings it back to d7. You need to trade this bishop or else I'm going to b4 with constant pressure. On a c file, you're looking crazy. So trade, trade, and h4 from white saying, I'm about to be first. I'm going to be first. Tau needs to untangle. Right, get a rick to the file with a smile. So knight b6, reroute, very simple. You can understand what's going on. I move the knight so I can move the bishop so I can put the rook on c8. Very easy plan. Bishop e2, bishop d7. What did he do? He followed the plan. Now after rook h to e1, everything's all nice and centra centralized here for white. But centralization probably wasn't the best route. It was probably best to just go for g4, g5, f5 and try to go for mate. Because that's what Tau about to do. Because it's Tau. Okay. So it's black to move here. What do you do now, chat? It's on you. You and Tau's shoes here, in a way. What are you going to do? Black to move. Rook H to E1's on the board. What do we do? We know our plan. How do we execute? Can you find a way to execute? Rook H to E1's there. Anything in particular that you would play? This actually helps too to learn how to be able to use a opposite side castle attack when you're the one trying to attack on the opposite side. Tau played move number three here on the engine. Let's see what move you find. Oh yeah, hit him with knight g4. So knight g4 is right here. Knight b4, okay. You like that knight b4, just open up the file immediately. I see a5, knight a5 is, or a5 or knight a5. Knight a5 is interesting, but you might be running into stuff like this, tactics. And the reason for knight a5 is to put a knight on c4. And pawn a5, I mean, yeah, but you, now you're missing the b pawn. You want to be able to push this. The move here was actually a6 with the intention of removing the knight and playing b5. Bishop f1, rook c7 from grandfather Tao here. Queen e3, what is rook c7 about? To double the rooks. So after we take, we double the rooks. Very simple. Rook to d2 and queen b4. A little bit of action here. Knight dwarfish with the rooks here. Open c file, knight c4. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. You love the double rooks? I mean, black's position is definitely the favorite here. Definitely the favorite. Knight to d1 and look at this move here, guys. This is a move that you should have in your arsenal. Not that you should play this all the time. But a move like this, who in a right mind would play a move like bishop to a4? Bruh. It looks ridiculous, right? Because b3 could just like block this whole file up. 
But that's the whole intention. We want you to break this up. But also, I mean, I could honestly almost take it. I mean, I can't right now, but we make a weakness. We make a weakness so these squares are weak. Induce a weakness, correct, right? Exactly. Like how ain't gonna sack, correct. You actually have to think twice. You gotta like, okay, two plus one plus one. I have two. He has, I have three. All right, you have to make sure you have all your pieces there and subtract it correctly and run it by yourself a thousand times so you don't get toweled, right? So after bishop a4, bishop to d3, defending the weak point on c2. He was like, all right, cool. You ain't go for it? Cool, bishop b5. Back that boy up one time. Back that boy up. Now, a lot of times in queen traps, right? When queens are trapped, usually it's not... It happens because you moved your queen out too early. Like you moved it out too early. Things are things just aren't going your way. And you're moving your queen out too early and things like that. You get in a lot of trouble. You get in a lot of trouble by actually bringing your queen out early. Um, but here, the queen didn't come out early. Queen's pretty good. There are no queen traps. At least not yet, right? After bishop b5, which it looks like a cool move. And in fact, it really is a cool move. In fact, after queen takes b6, chat, what do you actually play? It feels like he just dropped a piece. And he's pinning the queen. Wow, did Tao just blunder? Like, is he straight garbage, garbage. right now? Like, what the heck is this? Garbage. How is this even possible? He blundered a whole piece. Because if you move anything, your queen hangs. Or does it? Or does it? Nah, that's checkmate. What's me? What are you talking about, Quana? What's the move then? Sack all the pieces, says Bravo. Sack all. All of the pieces, he says. Wow. Bishop takes bishop? Take the bishop. Beautiful. And then after queen takes queen? Rook takes c2. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. And then it's mate. It's literally mate. Everything's mate. Rook anywhere down this file would have been mate. Beautiful checkmate. Absolutely stunning. Did not happen, but stunning. Bishop a4, bishop b5, he saw that, so he played rook e2 and said, all right, cool. I'm not about to get to out. Now, I mean, this was an amazing move. I'm not even going to lie. See if you can spot the move here. Tao played in this position. This is an amazing move. Like, there is so much going on. Maybe in a, in a classical game, yeah, I could find this move, but this is like a very, very hard move to find. By the way, it is uh, move number one on the engine. But it's black to move. What do you do here? This is, man, what a move here. What a move, guys. Black to move. Can you find it? Can you find the move? Town played here. Knight to a4. Like it. Knight c4, c a fork, take a fork. Rook to c3. I mean, that's going all in. All in for real. Don't care about life. Don't care about nothing. Rook c3. Knight a4, too obvious, I guess. In fact, here's the move right here. Y'all ready for it? I mean, very strange looking. Here it is right here. Queen a4. I don't know what the heck this does. No, no, no. I know what it does. It just looks ridiculous, right? But it's putting pressure here. It's also putting pressure on a2 as well. So if queen takes b6, boom, I still take on d3. You looking crazy. You looking crazy. Still getting mated. Nasty tactics everywhere all the time with Sal. So after queen a4, he said, nah, bro, I'm tired of this. Bishop takes b5, queen takes. Now, feels like the dust is settled, right? Something to learn um, from the defensive side is if I'm being attacked, like how Tao, Tao is just literally just trying to mate him. You need to trade the pieces attacking you. So what did he do? He just captured. So now, okay, not as bad anymore. Doesn't feel as much pressure, but I still got to worry about knight c4 with the fork. So he moves, queen b3. Black says, I'm not really feeling like trading. And if I trade, you take towards the center and you actually restrict my knight, which I don't really want that. So he plays queen a5. White looks okay now, doesn't he, right? Look, he looks okay now, which he kind of is. Queen a5, a3. And in these type of positions, these are extremely hard positions to play. Why? Because there's re not really real, weak real weaknesses. g3 is weak, but can you really get to it? This is weak, I guess, but you have exhausted all of your resources. Besides, maybe knight c4, but then he just moves. But you can get Tao's next move here. Rook to c4. Just gain some space, see what he does. You thought I was going to put the knight here. So not only is it a psychological edge in a way, rook c4, 
He was not expecting me to put the Rook here. Kind of a strange move. But at the same time, it kind of throws you off. Maybe I can get Ali Atkins gun eventually. Right, putting a queen behind the rooks. But just rook c4. Whoops. Um, oh, that's a different one. And this position is a different one too. And okay, queen takes b5, queen b3, queen a5, a3, rook c4, rook d3. Okay, so after rook d3, um, there was queen to c5. Right, queen and two, two rooks both hitting c2. So he defends it, rook c3 gets out the way. And here, this is like a grinding game, right? The games you're seeing what Ferruja do right now, if you check them, basically, I was in chess base for like an hour today, spending uh, some time looking at all of his games. And I noticed that he was doing a lot of this. Grinding, right? Like a move like this. Tau played Rook to C7. How many of you guys would have played Rook to C7 in this position? Think about that. Patience. Patience and waiting for the right moment to strike, but you also still need to make a move. Right, rook to c7 is the move here. Rook c7. <laughs> he says, what does that even do, bro? What does it even do? Bro, what does it even do, bro? Exactly. Rook c7 is one. It's, it's a very powerful waiting move. He gets off the back rank. Maybe one day I could go here. You probably could have played rook to c6. I even tell you how much of a waiting to move this is. The engine says your moves here are rook takes c3, d4, and h5. Bro, H5? Garbage. H5 is a move here. H5, believe it or not. So, and actually H5 is one of the top three moves from the engine. Like garbage. But Rook C7. Okay, you're doing something. You got to make a move. Rook C7. Rook takes C4. Knight takes C4. Queen B4. Do we trade queens? Uh, we don't really want to. Queen C6. King to B1. Okay. All right. King B1. Black plays B5. A little bit of space here. Queen getting a little short on spaces, but not too much. You still have this room. We got c3 and b3. Knight f2, a5, queen still getting a little short on spaces. Queen b3. And it feels like the queen is just trapped, right? There's a check. Queen can get out. Do you play b4? Do you play a4? Do you not move these at all? But it's, it's your move. Let's make a move, chat. What are you coming up with? Queen b3 being the last move here. What are you coming up with? What are we coming up with? What is the move? I see d4. Okay, so pawn to d4. a4 from quantum. Hi, what up, chill at chess? Two. Nice, Jim. Nice. Great job, Jim. Great job. Tonito. Okay. W's blood. Um, yeah. Dubs. Yep. Dubs. W's. Nice. Nice. A4. H5 from Bravo. All right. Like the engine said before. In fact, here's the move here. The move was actually B4. Not A4. B4 is an excellent move, bro. Look at this move. It says after A takes B4, and then what do you do? You take it back, right? You take it back, right? Absolutely. A takes B4. And if you take, I'm going to play rook B7. And you're looking crazy. I also got the open file. And your queen looking crazy right now with the queen on B3. So after A takes B3, knight to D3. So he can take on B4. Hit the queen as well. And then this is about to get crazy. Open the file with a smile. That's right, Baki. So after knight D3, rook A7. Right? We did open the file with the smile there. And we're going to put the rook right here. Right there. It's like aim, right? So, okay. Knight takes B4. Knight takes b4. Now you got a number of moves to make with your queen. Don't block with your face. The queen is hanging. Where do we move it? Where do we move the queen? There's only a few moves left here. And you're about to see something very spectacular. Black to move. a8. Queen a8. Queen a8. And you got some for queen a8. Don't block with his face, says Dante. Queen a8. I love it. Because that's exactly right. Queen a8 is the move. There it is, chat. There it is. Rook, queen a8. Boom, there it is with rook a1 mate. So he goes back. In fact, no, he plays c3. Knight a2 is just kind of a strange. You're not really trying to play knight a2. So he plays c3. And he got out of there. Cool. He got out of there. He hit him with the check. King c2. And then what, chat? What do you do now? So after king on c2, it's black to move. 
What do we do now? It's a nice little idea we have here in mind. There is a nice little idea here we have in mind. Can you find the very small idea the tower has in this position? In this position. 95, queen a7 from Baki. Bravo says 95. Queen a7. Rook c1, sack first, think later. My grandfather Tal would. Very nice, red hot mama. D4. Pawn to D4. We got one for D4. Queen to A4. Loose knight. Loose knight. Queen A4, 95. Queen A7, D4 is nice. Rook C1, sack first, think later. All this stuff is good. Looks great. Maybe great. Rook G1. You know what? Y'all got some nice moves here, guys. All of them great. All of them great. All of them are garbage. 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 Not a move. Garbage. Yep, there it is. Garbage. All wrong moves except one. Only one got it correct, and that's Bravo. Bravo got it right. Bravo got it right. The only move here. In fact, there's, there's a few good moves, honestly. But you know what's funny? Guess what the first two will Can... Can... <laughs> Can anybody guess what the first two moves is? Now here, knight a5 was the third best move. Third best by the engine. I can't make this up. Third best. Who, what, what were the first two? Does anyone know what the first two were? Where how mama literally has it right on hand. H6 and H5. Look at this. I'm, pull, I'm pulling up the full screen. Look at this. Look at the first two moves. Look at the first two. You see what I'm saying, bro? Bruh. Garbage. First two moves. H6. Then H5. Then Knight A5. In that order. I mean, can you believe that? Can you believe that? But it was Knight A5. And the man resigned. Trapped Queen. Lost Queen. In fact, the Queen was absolutely gone. Red Hot says, I'm basically a GM now. There you go, right? Right. Lost Queen here. And this wasn't a, 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 a situation of, like, queen out early. This was just, like, the queen got trapped in a very strange situation, right? In a very strange situation. And it's going to happen. You have to be aware of so many things, especially about Tao, too, as well. But we definitely wanted to show this game today about the lost queen, right? Um, this is with Tao. So make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, hopefully you guys are uh, doing that, subbing, watching the videos. Love you guys. And I'm going to see you all on the next video.